why you are here? Yo, what up, what up? See man, Big Brandon Carter. I'm in here in the gym with the homie White Boy Brian. We about to do this ab workout, all right? It's uh, all heavy stuff, low reps. We're doing like 14 uh, reps for each set, and we're doing four sets of each exercise, all right? I'm starting off with dragonflies, all right? Uh, if you can't do dragonflies, then just do leg lifts, you know? Um, a lot of this shit is kind of advanced in this workout, so do what you can. If you can't do it, some of the exercises, then, you know, everything ain't for everybody, man. You work your way up. So anyway, uh, I superset those dragonflies with these twisted hip raises okay so this gets my obliques in, in the play and it's just it's kind of like a drop set right because these are easier than dragonflies but it's still work uh, targeted in the same area then i did reverse crunches so it was a tri set it's really like a tri set we do and a tri set is when you do three exercises in a row uh without stopping then you rest and then do those same three exercises again that's one set so uh brian he didn't do the exact same thing. He just did uh, the dragonflies. Uh, I'm a little more advanced than him. <laughs> but um, we're only resting enough time for each one of us, uh, for the other person to get done. So, like, if I timed it, it would probably be, like, a minute between each set. Brian doesn't have the best-looking dragonflies, but, you know, it's something. It's something. <laughs> it's not bad. It doesn't suck. All right, so then I went from we went from there to uh, cable crunches. Uh, everybody does cable crunches wrong. When I see him in the gym, uh, I have a video on how to do it correctly. Maybe I'll put it the link in the description. Uh, I say that a lot and I forget to do it. So if you don't see the link in the description <laughs> to how to do this correctly, then uh, please uh, notify me and I'll try to remember how to do it. But anyway, yeah cable crunches and I picked a lot I usually just do the whole goddamn all the weights but I wanted to do a lower weight and just concentrate a little bit more so I'm doing I did higher reps than normal I did about uh, 14 sets I mean 14 reps remember it's four sets of everything we're only resting enough time for the other person to get done and we're not bullshitting in between sets like talking and checking Instagram so. then after four sets of that we did side cable crunches right and this is for the the target the obliques uh, I feel like obliques is like a weak area of mine, so I just want to really, really concentrate on them this this winter, so they're popping this summer. So you see how my wrists twist on the way down? Let me, let me, let me show what I'm talking about. So right now, my hand, my palm is kind of facing out, but when it comes, then when I come down, the hand is facing in, and then we go, it, it turns, and vice versa on the way back up the wrist twist and that just takes a lot of attention off of your uh, forearm and your arm so it's like your hand is just like a hook or your hand you're just using your hand as a hook with this exercise you're not really moving your shoulder joint like Brian's moving his shoulder joint a little bit more than I would like him to you want to rotate the sh you want to rotate the waist right and that moves the shoulders which pulls the waist with the weight down he's moving he's doing it with his arm a little bit more than I would like him to but it's his first time doing this exercise, so he has to learn. See how he's like, he's extending his arm at the top and then bringing it down? Like, that's not the fucking exercise. But anyway, maybe I'll do another video on exactly how to do that uh, exercise correctly. So then we went into windmills. I mean, I'm sorry, windshield wipers. And this is another exercise that, that uh, puts some more emphasis on the obliques. This is an advanced exercise. You can just, you can't do this. Just lay on your fucking back and do this. All right. You don't have to hold yourself uh, by by the pull-up bar. You can just lay on your back and do it. It's hard enough like that. But this is just this just takes it to another level, cause I'm on another level. <laughs> but there's levels to this shit, man. There's levels to this shit. So you got to do it where you at. Again, uh, with, with with that exercise, we just went to failure. And then I ended with. My obliques and abs were kind of crushed, so uh, I, I sucked at this. So anyway, uh, I ended with uh, the human flags. I It kind of sucked. I wasn't able to hold it for that long. And plus, I'm wearing those heavy tins, but whatever. I'm just making excuses. I just, I'm a little heavier now, and I just got to get better at this. I haven't been doing it, so I just got to get better at this. So anyway, I just uh, did that four times. You just hold it as long as you can. It's, it's uh, isometric movement then we end it with uh jump rope so we just jump is like hit cardio jump rope. you jump rope for like 
a minute or 30 seconds 30 seconds to a minute and then you rest for 20 to 30 seconds and then repeat and you we, we did that like 10 times now check me out man this shirt i'm wearing this high life shirt you see it it's a brand new high life shirt we printed up about a few hundred of them there's not many it's gonna be a short run and we're gonna they're gonna be available hopefully this week or next week uh, let me know if you want them in because uh, we'll be announcing soon when it is available. It's a cool shirt, cool little high life, you know, represent the high life workout, man. You can work representing your gym or at your home, wherever you work out. All right, peace.